The atomic bomb fleet rendezvous for a day. Aboard the flagship Mount McKinley, commander of Joint Army-Navy Task Force One, Admiral William H. Blandy, plans final details. The decks of the 73 test ships anchored in Bikini Lagoon are scenes of feverish activity as scientists plot experimental programs. Secretary Forrestal tensely watches the atom plane's approach to Bikini and the fateful $70 million test. On this bombardier rests, in large degree, success or failure. Crew members are tense. Signal start. Every eye in the observation fleet is trained on Dave's dream. The bombardier's supreme test is at hand as the bomb bay doors open. protect their eyes against the flash which blotted out the morning sun, men are adequately prepared as HR approaches. Even with these goggles, they saw a stab of light as brilliant as lightning, while those without goggles turned their backs and shielded their eyes with their arms. The bomb is away. It's falling. The seconds tick away. Seven miles into the sky, the awe-inspiring cloud billows and surges, blotting out the destruction below. There is no earthquake, no tidal wave, or other catastrophe to justify the fears of some. And while some observers felt that the bikini bomb was less powerful than its predecessors, many feel that the lessons learned here today will mean a reshuffling of man's strategy of national defense. The final verdict remains shrouded in military secrecy. Whatever the verdict, Operation Crossroads is the motion picture spectacle of all time. And now the salvage fleet steams towards Bikini Lagoon, and every